do a video to show you how to change this brake light on the Range Rover L322. You can see here this one, they get a bit faded now. Some of these are getting quite old. Um, the sun seems to craze them a bit. So we're going to change it. We've got a couple of options for you. We've just had these made. Oh, I've got my camera wrong. Bear with me. There we go. There we go. We'll go. There we go. I've got them um, made in tinted. So these are a tinted smoked plastic. Um, which is going to look good on our black car. We've also got the made in red and that one at the back there is the genuine one just to show you Do you want to just flip those over Ian? So one thing is the first batch of these we've had made haven't come with a connector on them You can see there. So we're going to show you how to fit these. We're going to have to use crimp connectors um, But the second batch when we get them made will come the other thing we need to try and work on is it comes with this grommet so we need to have a look at that as well but that's what we're on we're going to fit the smoked one onto our black car which should make it look cool right so there we go Ian's gonna have a go at doing this now we have got another video of this but it's got some annoying music on and it doesn't cover the cutting the wire so we're gonna have a go at this right so this should pull pull back towards you Right, and that's got these six clips here, and they're all. We got nine, so there's one in the middle too. Nine is there, and they've all got oh, one of them that all. The... Yeah, one of the little pins has come out of it. So they might come out. They just push back into the slot. Yeah, and that will like clip so. back in. Right now, we don't need to for this model unplug the connector, do we? Um, we've just got to get on and undo the box. So you need a 10 millimeter socket. So I think we've got replacements on here. It looks like we've had, be careful because oh, yeah. they might rust. This looks like, well, we've had it off before. Oh, hold on, I've lost where you are, Ian. There you go, yeah. So you've got three along the back edge here. Oh, so one of those is missing. Is it all yeah, rusted it off? It looks like it's rusted and snapped on a previous removal. Oh, yeah, let's have a look. What so do they look aren't, like? I don't think these are oh, the original. original you think we've, no. But they should be a 10 mil still. So that there should be three and that's all the holding on what you've got to be careful of is the wire connecting now if you were going to do it properly and you had the wire there's you've got to remove the brake connector wire which is where is that i think it's the one coming through i think it's that one there yeah should be there which disappears up and through the roof. right so now bear in mind the spoiler's loose so there it's not too bad now you have to pull it back you have to slide it back towards you don't you that's it. right now You've got, right now, we're, what, how many wires we've got in there? Well, we've got two. We've got we two. Got ah, what's, we've well. got the reverse camera, yeah. So we're going to have to, now. We can work with it up I was going to say, could we work with it up there? Yeah, because we've only got to undo these screws, haven't we? So yeah. we can, we've got to make sure we cut the right wire. Let's loosen those screws first so we know which wire's which. So these are Torx T20 screws. Now, how rusty are them? Did you bottle that first one then, Ian? Yeah. You're going to make it look good on the video, make it look easy. That rusty that I thought it was the wrong size. Really? It's totally rounded, is it? It's just a bit corroded. Ah, it's only going into plastic, so it shouldn't be too bad. No, they're not tight, it's just a bit of corrosion on them. There we go, there's those two. to note while Ian's doing that is make sure these grommets there are uh, correctly located otherwise you'll get water ingress into the boot. All right, we can we can lower that down again now move the screws out of the way All right, and just gently lower that down. Ooh. All right, just rest it maybe should better then which is is it getting Does it slide it, does it slide back? I think it's got those little clips in it. it, feels like it wants let's to have a look, let's have a look. Grab, grab one there, let's have a look. I think it's these little yeah, clips got here. Got, yeah, so you've got to pull it sort of towards you to release yeah, it. Yeah, directly, you've got to slide it back, so you need to get something in the... Have yeah. you got a loose spoiler? What? There's no room to There's no room, room gone. Yeah. Right. Bring one of those trim tools in, you reckon? Yeah. Right, I'm gonna stand on the I'm gonna stand on the bumper and get a better view. They are pretty crusty, yeah. You're gonna have to do the same there. There we go. 
There you go, right. Yeah, I'll, it's just, I'll... You just can't get a grip behind it, so a trim tool might help. Right, and then you've got the wire going through now, so you can pull, we'll pull, a, pull, good. pull a good length there. Then we're just going to snip it? Yep, yeah, just snip it, go brutal. Right, so that's the old one. So let's have a look at that next to a new one. So that's the... So you, you can see how much the old one has aged. I don't know if you can see there, versus the new one is... It looks a lot better, a lot shinier, not dull and scratched and everything. Um, right, how are we looking here? So now we're going to... We lost the end. No, we still got it. We still got it. So there you go. So you've got two wires here. So you've got a blue one, and it doesn't actually matter which way you do it. Ian's just going to strip a little bit of. So there we go. He stripped a little bit of the. Give those a little twist, and then we'll crimp on those connectors. Twist the wire a little bit first. So these are these double-ended crimp connectors just to create a join. We'll supply the crimp connectors with the brake lights. Now did you you were careful there just to crimp the bottom. Yeah, just to crimp the one side. That's okay, so that's all on there ready. So you do that so I can see where you're just crimping the bottom. Yeah, so you're just crimping the bottom half of it. Well, there we go. Let me zoom in on. There we go. Right, and on the we've got the same, we've got the ends prepared already on the on the new tailgate. On the new tailgate on the new brake light. Fans to all of that in. Yeah. Okay, get the second one in. You got that second one. Yeah. Okay, so try and line it up with. One clamping at the end. That should give you four neat, neat lines where it's clamped down there. Then. All right. And then just a gentle pull. Don't pull too hard. But just a gentle pull to make sure that they're connected well. And that can go back inside. Okay. And then, then we just got to make sure we slot that in, haven't we? You've got to push that, push that cable back as as it goes down. You have to just pull it forward. Oh, that goes on so much better push than the. Push it in and push it back. And pile that up for you. Now, now you're going to have to pull those wires back a bit to give you a little bit. That's it. There we go. cut it too short you end up with about the same length as you had before yeah, and you could put some heat shrink around those you could solder those if you're super keen but i think they'll be fine those crimp connectors it's not exactly getting water thrown at it is it yeah, in fact when we put it back we could just tuck it under the edge a bit couldn't we and it will tuck that under the edge yeah that's that one two nearly done i mean the other thing you could do is you could test it to check your electrical connection before you Screw it all back together. But we're professionals, aren't we, Ian? So we don't need to bother doing that. We know it'll be right. Do as we say, not as we do. Yeah. That's the, the story there. People that have watched our videos will know that's an absolute lie. Oh! The sea? Just oh. cursed you. Right then, what have you broken? I think it's just it cracking in the right into situ. Right. Where are we? Tuck I reckon tuck a mark up under the top of that. 
under, can you get them under that lip behind there? I think they'll go there naturally. Yeah. Well, they go. Right, then you've got to slip that back on now. You've got to slide the tailgate back. You've got to make sure it's down. It docks into these these big penguin shaped holes, yeah. snowman shaped holes. So you've got to make sure. Peanut. What's that? What's that new planet thing called? Oh no. That looks good. That's a bit of a jiggle. Making sure both sides. Yeah. No. Nope. This side's going. That side's. It's like it's pivoting. It's pivoting about the middle. It's, there you go. There you go. Yeah, a bit of a jiggle. I know it should be sliding back now. It should be okay now when you go back, shouldn't it? The holes are lined up. There we go. We've only got two of them. We should have three. Get this done. Test this, then we can go home because it's Friday afternoon. It won't be when they're watching this video. Someone's going to watch it on a Wednesday and go, ah. Oh. Lights. We got them all Friday excited. Afternoon. Last step is just to pop the tree. Yeah, we won't bother doing that. We do that Monday. Right then. Let's have a look. Who's got the keys? Right, there we go. Right. So there we go. So there's our black brake light fitted. You can hardly see it now. I want to be I'll I'll put the lights off. There we go. Boom. And there you go. There's your there's your third brake light. Okay. There we go, good luck with that. <laughs>